hey guys i hope you're doing well so we are getting ready to uh go to dinner um and it's the day after valentine's day <clears throat> and uh so me and babe going to dinner tonight we're smart um <laughs> and um i have a vision i have a vision just like the last kid he read with me i have a vision so i want to do a romantic um pretty much neutral eye but i want pop of pink like blown out here um not like a neon pink but i got a pink in mine i'll show you and then i want a smudged out plummy wing so pink and purple i know i know i'm gonna I'm try my best so i have some neutrals been still playing with the juvia's place coffee shop palette don't know how deep into that i'm gonna get um maybe for like a transition shade but i have the uh give me glow two moods palette and i think this is going to be perfect for what i'm trying to give okay for what i'm trying to give so we're going to let me pull up my eye brushes here and see i just i don't want a lot of effort on the lid I don't like on the eye I don't want a lot of effort I'm gonna take this shade from the Juvia's Face palette it's my skin tone shade um the looks I've been doing in the Juvia's palette with the Juvia's palette I've been starting with this shade it's it's my skin tone it's really nice to get that started and down and then I'm also thinking that this can be all matte um just a soft romantic glam I do want a long a fluttery wispy lash so I think I'm gonna you know do the curl the lashes do the mascara and give a, a wispy a thinner wispy lash so this can really shine through but we ain't we, we getting too far ahead we're getting too far ahead so I think what I want to do is start because I'm crazy from the top down so I think I think I'm going to take, in this palette, um, the, the I Need, uh, these are the two matte pinks we have here that I really like. I Need Retail Therapy and Best I've Ever Had. Best I've Ever Had is the lighter one of the two. And I think either one of these are really look good in the inner corner, but I'm leaning towards the lighter one. Because I'm going to have Do Not Disturb, which is this matte plum. I'm going to have Do Not Disturb. Uh, as the wing liner so I think I'm just going to use um, the deep brown well a deeper brown in uh, the, the coffee shop palette here and I'm going to just kind of define my crease with it and I was trying to figure out yep that's perfect I was trying to figure out if I wanted something else on the lid but I think having to smudge uh, this this plum liner is going to be enough of a situation but then again I don't know never really did a smudged liner situation I think I've did it like twice um, enough to know I like it but uh, I'm using this shade which is really nice it's it's a brown it's a deeper brown but it has a little hint of plum itself in it I just feel like it has some undertones of plum in it and I am defining my crease with it here. I'm trying to do this in real time. <laughs> Not in a rush. But let's just try to do it. I love real time videos. It saves me on editing a lot. Because I hate editing. I'll be honest with you. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Um, but um, it also just shows it's like getting ready. And I love videos like this. Watching. Just doing the makeup and talking. So. So I am definitely filling out that crease. I think I'm going to um, go ahead and take more of my skin tone shade above that shade. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to highlight the brow. Um, definitely. With what? I don't, I don't know yet. <laughs> With what, I don't know. 
Oh, that's pretty. This FML, it's a soft, neutral. Uh, it's giving undertone. Of, it's giving a little under of pink. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. There's a little glitter on this brush. I'm not mad at it, but there's some glitter on it. Damn it. Alright, that might need to... Might not be deep enough. I mean, might not be bright enough. I don't think it's bright enough. But I'm going to put that under the brow because I've committed. And I'll just go ahead and put something else on top of that. That's not the brow highlight I wanted. I'm going to take a little bit of the matte light shade, light matte shade in the Dubious Base palette and put that over top like that. And we'll blend those two together. And that should give me enough. Yeah, that's better. See, sometimes we just got to... Do what we do, how we do, make it do. Yeah, that's that's good. Perfect. Don't want too much. And still sticking with matte right now because I'm not committed to adding a shimmer to this look. I don't want to just yet. All right, so on the lid, that brush had glitter on it. Hold on. You know, really need the sparkle. I mean, I don't know. I think on the lid, but then, yeah, I think on the lid, I just want a neutral shade, a light skin tone. Going through my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palettes, the reason why I'm going through these is because they're in my shot my stash area, and they're right here. That's pretty. Let's try this. Let's try this shade from her um, Bling Boss one. This, it's a little cooler. Oh, that, 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 I don't know. I don't know what we would call that shade. But I'm going to adjust that on the lid. I'm going to adjust that on the lid. So the lid, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to dust this on the lid here. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like how that's going in. This is very similar, kind of similar to my last look I just did. Um, but I'm definitely going to go intentional with that wing baby. Okay, okay, all right. All right. It's very similar. But, okay, I'm really going to pack on the pink and the inner part of my face, but I think I'm gonna do it after my face makeup, so we're gonna have to come back. But, all right, now these Give Me Glow shadows are really pigmented, so I have very high, real high hopes for this liner. So I am going to take an angled brush Two angled brushes. I'm gonna take a thinner one. This is a small angled brush by Sigma. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go into Do Not Disturb, and I'm gonna make my my wing. Look at that. No, I did not wet the brush. I did not wet the brush at all. I'm going to pack this one. Like, like liner. I'm going to be honest. That's giving. That is a giving. Okay. I'm definitely going to have to redo the inner part once I pack on the pink. But. Alright. Now I'm going to take, don't want to take this brush, a fluffier angle brush, I'm going to dip into the blue, the purple again, and I'm going to kind of smudge it. Yep. 
Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Smudge it a little bit. And it's soft, but okay. But I can't even um can't even wait to put that pink on. Okay. Yeah, I want to do my concealer and everything before I do that. <laughs> Let's do this other side. This is gonna be a multi-step. Going back and forth. Back and forth. That's okay. Loving this. Loving this. Oh, shit. So pretty. That's pretty. All right, we're gonna smudge it a little bit above, Just like we did. Really want this pink. All right, and then I'm gonna do. Okay, so we need to do the face. Let's pull this off. Boom. Okay. Let's pull that off. Let's do the face. We also can add the eyeliner. All right. Hang on, I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere, I know. Let's put our face on most of it, okay. Primer. Where are the primers I'm playing with? I'm gonna use some Stila. One step correct in deep. Okay. It's a nice day today. It's like 60 degrees outside. Winter, like 64. I don't even know if I'm a wear jacket. God help me, I'm in a white shirt. And I got like these um, interesting colored pants. They're almost like the color of my eyeshadow there. A cute little dress pants and then I got a pump with I don't know if they're flowers but just like this abstract design. It might be flowers. So the different colors, just like multicolor pumps and my purse is green. So like the pops of color from the purse. You know I'm trying to do something. So I'm gonna do the I did the one step correct and then I'm gonna do my black onyx mattifying primer from um makeup revolution. This was also in my just shot my stash drawer. And then the next thing I'm going to do is color correct. As we know, we're going to color correct. <sighs> color correct. I'm going to use my e.l.f. For a dollar color corrector. Um, I'm going to be doing a video. Oh, didn't blend that in. I'm going to be doing a video, an updated video on color, my color correctors soon. I have to form opinions uh, on this one, that Makeup Revolution one. Um, I have to form some more opinions on some things. And there's also a couple more I want to order from Ulta because. I'm just kind of into them, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm into them. So, but that will be coming. I've been trying them. Just know I've been trying them. So, 
I'm gonna call a corrector. Did I use way too much? Hell yeah, way too much. But don't tell me what to do. <laughs> And I like to set my color correctors. I'm using the Stila One Step Correct Correcting Powder. Um, I don't think I like this one more than my Mora one. Um, I just don't think so. I think it's fine. I also got this at like, I think I got it at TJ Maxx on clearance for like $6. Um, so I don't even know if they still make it anymore. Honestly. I don't know. It's good. Okay, hmm. not very home about. I am going to do uh, plum, a purple eyeliner. To have a nice striking purple, nice striking purple. Yeah, we're going to put on. I'm gonna get it out. I'm gonna have it ready. This is the Too Faced Killer Liner in Killer Queen looks like I'm gonna I'm gonna get this ready sharpener I just some heads up on some things makeup in my life I made a shop miss a order so I'm gonna be doing I think I'm gonna do a full face with the stuff I got I think I got enough um, plus what I already have at home that's the liner that we're gonna <coughs> put on that we're gonna put on um so, I also have a Beauty Bay order. I have some Beauty Bay palettes coming. Both of these orders were made, like, last night and today. So, they're not going to be here um, soon, but, you know. All right. All right. All right. All right. Give me a foundation brush. I don't have a sponge wet. Oh. Sorry. I'm just... I'm going to do, I'm going to do brush today. I'm going to do all brush today. Uh, the foundation I'm going to use is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. I have this in my shop, my stash, and I've been enjoying it again. I wore it. When was the last time I wore it? Last week? I don't know. Recently, though. All right. I'm going to pack that into my brush. And we're going to put this on. Mm -hmm. This is a good um, medium buildable coverage foundation. It's a classic foundation in every sense of it, in terms of coverage, in terms of feel, liquid. Um, I'm the shade Mahogany, and I think it's a decent shade for me. I do. It has a natural finish. Um, I'm going to make it mad, of course, because y'all know me, but it has a natural finish. Um, and I like it. It's pretty. Okay. Push that in. Alright. So we're going to brighten up with a uh, concealer. That's where we are right now. In this stage in the game. Stage of the game? Stage. This stage. This stage. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so for concealer. Um, I have been loving my Urban Decay Quickie. But I think I'm going to use... Um, I got some more of the Naked, the Stay Naked Concealer. Because it's on, it was on clearance at uh, Sephora. And I haven't visited this one in a while. So let's put some of that on. And I'm going to take it up a little bit here. Take it up. Because again, I'm going to... um. Oh, I love the consistency of this. I love, like, it feels, like, I don't like my liquid conceals to be too liquidy. Like, this is the perfect thickness. Spreadable, but, yeah, I like that. I like that. All right, and I'm going to take a brush here. This is the Morphe, I don't know, it just says Morphe on it. It came in a set, I think, a face set. 
I'm gonna press this into my skin. I'm gonna focus more on pressing it in than like buffing and swiping. So, I think this is gonna help uh, with control of this inner corner situation. All right, let's press. Press in. Yeah, perfect. 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 Yes. Oh, that's a pretty blend. That's absolutely beautiful. Okay, don't you love it when things go your way? Just don't we love it? We do. I know I do. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and oh, brought that down. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and set the under eye. No, I'm not gonna go all the way up to that inner corner because I'm gonna place eyeshadow there and then eyeshadow will kind of set it. Um, but I'm gonna set the under eye with what do I have here? What do I have in here? Oh, I got my Fenty. I have my NARS. I want to loose powder today. This is new. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I don't even know if I did a haul showing this one. I don't want to use this yet in case I don't like it. I don't. I don't want to do that yet. I'm gonna go ahead with my Fenty. It was in my shot, my stash. This is, I think this is the shade Honey. Yes. I've been going back and forth on whether I want to get banana in this. I'm leaning towards it. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this. Okay. Not necessarily setting that. All right. So. What I'm gonna do is, I feel like I need a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna kinda go back to the eyes for a second. Actually, because I'm nervous. <laughs> we'll set the rest of the face a little bit with the NARS soft matte um, powder. I'm just gonna set the rest of my face. Quick. All right, cool. Now, let's go back to the eyes. <sighs> All right, so I'm gonna take the pink shadow um, and let's place that in the inner area, but really, maybe place it. Place it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in here, right in here, and then place this in the inner portions, just like this. This is this is what I want. That's what I want. I'm not gonna pull it too far into the eye. I'm gonna blend. Um, in a moment, I'm gonna take pack it on. I'm not going too far in, but I definitely want this. Oh, I definitely want this, and I'm actually gonna bring it out a bit more. And kind of pull the blend in a little bit but not really see we don't really want 
damn. Can't even explain what we what we got going on. I like the drama. Let me just clean up the edge of the look. <laughs> Here. Kind of fade it out. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. I want the drama. I want the drama. Um, I'm going to go back in with my plum. I do not disturb shade and get that crisper here. See? Mm. Friends. We. We love makeup. We really love it. If you want to sharpen your wing up a little bit. This is a matte shadow. So. Get a little bit of don't want no fallout here so it's not going to be super strong um i'm going to take my eyeliner and let's do that in the waterline oh yeah bear with me Oh, gotta fix the under eye. And because I do what I want, because I do what I want, I'ma um, go ahead with a little bit. Where's my brush? Dust that off. I'ma go with. Oop! I made a made a little bit of thumb. I'ma go with a little bit more concealer. Cause it's my business. Here we go. Just a smidge here and here. Well, gotta fix that. Gotta fix that. And blend that. Boom. Really excited about this look, you guys. All right. Set it. Reset. Reset it. Okay, cool. Loving this. I am not going to smudge. Well, maybe I'll smudge a little bit. These shadows are very, very... Uh, you can get some fallout. So please be careful. You want to reset your face like I did. Again, I'm going to take a pencil brush, go back into the do not disturb, gently, gently smudge to not get any fallout. You got to work slow but deliberately. You see what we give in here? Alright, alright, lashes is going to set this off. Okay, let's, let's, I am going to apply a wispy, I'm going to curl my lashes, put on some mascara. Well, you know what, let's do it on camera. Let's do it on camera. So what I'm going to do is figure out a lash. I have a few, I have a few wispies here ready to go. Um, <laughs> these are from... Kiss Zero Ones Wispies. I'm pulling them out of the packaging. Well, out the little my little book here. Um. So let's get some glue. All right. So I do a lot of things where my lashes are on. <laughs> while my lashes are uh, the glue's drying. So what I'm doing right now is. Peel a little bit more of the old glue. Where are my reading glasses? Because I can't see, but I can just feel my way. Alright. Getting some of the old glue. I want to show you this um, mascara from first application. So I'm going to zoom in for that while we while we uh, letting the glue hang on. Hang on. Alright. So... My favorite eyelash glue is Duo. I'm gonna squirt a little bit here on my little um, metal palette. Okay. 
right. Cool. Um, I use the back of whatever the smallest eye, <laughs> the smallest eyeshadow brush I use. I just use the back of it, and I'm gonna put my glue on my lashes. There are plenty of eyelash tutorials out there. This is not one, but I'm talking through since that's what I wanted to do. Okay, talking through. Let's get that glue on that lash. Let's get the glue on this lash. Um. Yeah. I had, I'm wearing my hair straight. I've I had it down all day. Like, I mean, I worked today and stuff. So, like, I had my wrap combed out. And I was going back and forth of whether I wanted to curl my hair tonight for tonight or just wear it straight. And I'm just wearing it straight. But right now, it's back. And so, I got to wear my little headband because there was no point in wrapping it up just to put my makeup on. So, I'm kind of digging my little thing because I really get to wear it. All right. So, the glue is on the lashes. Let me get my tweezers out. To be ready as well. Okay. When it's time, it's time. Alright. So, I'm going to curl my lash. And I'm going to show you. Let's get up in here. Alright. I'm going to curl. I'm going to really give him a curl. I'm really going to give it to him. Alright, this is my alpha eyelash curl. It does pretty well. I am like very, very low effort hunting for like the best eyelash curler. It's not a it's not a high priority need because I wear falsies all the time. But I'm curious. So this Milani highly rated lash extensions. Check this out. I know. Barely need the lashes. If it's that great. Coating all my lashes. Look. Baby. They look great. That's all I need to put on right now. Because I'm wearing falsies. But... But yeah, I do have the L'Oreal telescopic lift. Um, I have not used that one yet, though. Um, I want to see what the hype is about on that one, too. But I only started trying new mascaras recently. I had so many old ones, so much unopened stuff that I wasn't going through that I didn't. I just did not try or buy or try new mascaras for a while. I just didn't. So. But this one seems promising. Wow. This eye even it done, did even better. Had to show you without. Oh, God. Got some of my. Had to show you without my lashes on. And without, like, shadow behind it. But they look really good. Okay. The lashes should be ready. Okay. Always blow on them again for some insurance. All right, y'all. We on camera. I usually do my lashes off camera. Do not embarrass me. You heard the speech I gave to them. I don't want no bullshit.
What is that on that lash? All right, we had to cover it up. I think it's like old remains I forgot to peel off, but that's okay. We'll put some we'll put some purple shadow over top of it. All right. Okay. I am loving what we have going on here. And since I already did my concealer and everything, let's go ahead and throw this on. Oh yeah, she cute. She is cute. Nice. Nice, okay. Where are we? What, what What's going on here? We are almost done here we really are all right so i'm gonna take my small angled brush with that plum and go ahead and go over the areas on the lashes that are showing oh shit a little bit of remain which is okay showing it, showing it a little bit Oh no, see? Already a little bit more fallout. What? These shadows are great, but this is why we do our eyes before our face. Okay? Alright. What we got working on? That glue still drying. This is giving what I needed to give. Let's contour. I definitely want to contour. I'm going to use the contour shade in my this Makeup Revolution Pro um, Glam Mood Palette. It is the deep shade. Uh, I'm sorry, the deep. The, the whole palette is called deep. And I'm gonna contour with the contour that is in here. Um, as soon as I can find an appropriate brush. Okay. So I'm gonna contour with this. bit much today. A little bit more than what I want today. Okay. Um for my lip I just <sighs> what are we thinking y'all? I think a a a a plum pink ombre. What y'all thinking? That's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna that's what I'm thinking. I've been feeling, baby, really, really, really feeling, um, hold on, hang on, is this what I've been feeling? Alright, I've been feeling these cream blushes, I don't know where I was going with that. And so, I'm gonna layer though. I'm gonna layer a bit. I'm gonna take this one from Item Beauty. This is, um, Admit It. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to apply this further back here. I don't want all the blush, the forefront. And I'm gonna then, on top, I'm gonna sweep on. Um, I'm gonna sweep on a little bit of this just because I want to. This is the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush in Berry Cheeks. Just, just because I have it here. That's that's really why.
That did a little something. Oh yeah. That did, oh that's beautiful, okay. So pretty. Let's get this stuff off this lash. <laughs> okay, blending in. We can't be looking raggedy. All right. Um, highlight. So we could go a lot of different ways. I just pulled out from my shop my stash. This has a little bit of rosy undertone. I think it's really pretty. This is the Mac. Extra Dimension Skin Finish and Superb. And it's in my shot my stash. Here's a swatch of it. It's light. It's pretty. It's... It's... Right here. Um, let's just put it on. I don't know what these lights are doing, baby. Washing everything out. That's okay. And take this. We're gonna highlight. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do. Plummy, a plum ombre lip. Plum pink ombre situation. Okay, so this look is together. It's it's really together. I'm very happy with the vision I had, what I wanted to do. Um, I want to spray my face, but I will say um, with the setting spray, what do we want to use? I'm going to use... I was supposed to mix that with my foundation. I didn't. I'm going to cover my eyes though. I don't want the eyes to be sprayed. This is the Shake Fix Glow Spray from Catrice. I really like this. I need to make a Catrice order because you can't find this anywhere. But um, let's cover up the matte part. Let's do the forehead. Do the face. There we go. I'll be right back. Well, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so we are almost ready. I'm wearing the hair, like I said, straight because I've been feeling that. <laughs> so nothing to do. We're going to do this side. Give it a little behind the ear action. Show this earring. <laughs> give it a little bit of something. Yeah, we just, we just wear it straight. That's fine. That like that. Okay, friends. Let me put a little hand sanitizer. I'm wearing a white shirt. God help me. It's not a high collar shirt, so we should be okay. We should be good, okay? Alright, so for the lip, that's all we have left. All right, I went with the NYX Lip Lingeries. We're gonna do a little bit of ombre situation. So this is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Mamacita. It's a deep plum. We're in a line with this. I'm gonna fill in the edges.
we're gonna then do I got two pinks I'm gonna go with this first one I don't have my glasses I got a deeper pink and a, they're both bright pinks but one's deeper one's lighter so I'm gonna take uh-huh 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 ooh, ooh yeah yeah friend and I'm just using the tip of the uh, applicator to blend this into the lip liner. Oh, shit. Wow, that's a lip, baby. That's a lip in itself, baby. That is a lip. My lips a little dry, but forgive me, I forgive you, you know? Then I'm gonna take the brighter pink and just dab that. Get it off, okay. Let's get it off the lip ring. And we're gonna lightly set this lip with some translucent powder and we're ready to go. God, God damn it. <laughs> All I'm saying is, look at her. That's all I'm saying. That is all I'm saying, friends. <laughs> Setting this with some translucent powder. Just so this lip can, we can give it a fighting chance. We a little, a little dry, got a little dry piece. Hold on. Just get that off my lip. I am so pleased with this look here, friends. Don't want to do too much. Quite pleased with this Valentine situation. Quite, quite please. Let's add a little more highlight to that Cupid's bow. And I'm good to go. I'm ready to, actually I'm hungry. So I'm ready to go eat and drink wine. A little charcuterie boy maybe. He's coming up, so I'll talk to you guys in the next one.